Now, what are the Pleiades actually like? What does it look like up there? Now, it's a star system of seven stars that you can actually see in the sky with a bare eye. They're called the Seven Sisters, and I feel that there are more than one mother planet where we Pleiadians come from. There is at least three, if not more, mother planets in the Pleiades that are inhabitable where Pleiadian souls have lived. So I'm going to talk about the planet that I have incarnated on most in my past lives. So I would say the mother planet of the Pleiades that I'm talking about is a little smaller than Earth. It rotates just a little bit faster than Earth. Somehow time moves just a little bit faster, just a little bit. Like I said, as though you're watching a movie and things move a little bit faster. That's why most Pleiadians talk so fast. We talk fast because everything here is slower than on our mother planet. When I went there first, I saw a beautiful green and blue planet like Earth, but a little bit different, of course. The energy a little bit lighter, the vibration a little bit faster. Very beautiful turquoise blue oceans and a lot of forests as well. So beautiful, intact nature, not destroyed like planet Earth right now. So intact rainforests, beautiful oceans, and this planet is a little more temperate than Earth. So not so cold at the poles. The different climate zones aren't as extreme on that home planet. And when I first visited, it's actually my spirit guide, my Pleiadian spirit guide, Mirabella, or Chrysalis, she has two names, took me there to my home. So I lived in a building in a house right over the ocean. So right at the edge of the ocean, um, actually built half over the ocean. I actually had this pool in my living room where I could jump in and dive right into the ocean. So the Pleiadians love their water. That's what I feel. The Pleiadians love the water. They have a very close connection with the water. Water is very healing for the Pleiadian soul group. For me, my therapy is swimming, going to the pool every day. The water heals my body, mind and spirit, opens the flow of intuition. I get downloads when I get into the water. I feel that is typical Pleiadian. Even though the Pleiadians, of course, are not water people, the Pleiadians live actually very much like we here on Earth. So the Pleiadians are very like us in their biology, in their looks, just a little more, I would say, ethereal, uh, moving a little faster. The Pleiadians also have very developed emotional energy bodies. So the Pleiadians have very deep emotions they tend to be a little more dramatic. <laughs> Everyone there is a little more dramatic, um, goes deeply into their emotional bodies. And I feel that the Pleiadians, a lot of Pleiadians have a very soft and gentle and warm energy. So the Pleiadian home planet is very vibrant. When I was there, I really felt, I felt the water, I felt the earth. I felt the trees. The connection to my home planet was, I would say, more alive than here. But I feel because of the density that we are in, that we're disconnected. So I feel that in the Pleiades, for most of the eras, the Pleiadians were more connected to their mother planet knowing that their mother planet was alive, I felt this deep connection to the planet, to the ocean, to life. And I saw that the other houses or structures beside me were like spread out a little bit. So the Pleiadians are very communicative. They love their communication. They love their society. They love communion, but they're also a little more independent compared with the Polarins. Polaris, Polaris, the Polarins are like all about community, family, everything together. I feel that there, the Pleiadians lived a little bit like the humans, each, each one in their house, some a little more together, but you know, really enjoying independence and freedom. 
the forests of the Pleiades of that home planet are beautiful the forests had larger trees everything a little bit larger a little bit bigger and I felt that the trees also had a consciousness that was closer connected that's why I guess in that movie Lord of the Rings the elves they live in the forest I had one past life memory there where I was a young Pleiadian man running through the forest and I felt very very connected very connected to nature so I feel that on that mother planet the connection like the, the conscious connection to the trees to the animals to nature is more open is more is, is better than here and I remember when I was running through the forest I was running faster and I was stronger and everything was moving at a higher vibration rate than here <laughs> so that's why you may feel a, the Palladian energy as like really like the energy it's like most of the comments that I get is always oh I like your energy you have such energy that is typical Pleiadian energy so the reason is because the home planet vibrates at a higher rate I don't mean like as a, at a higher rate of, of um, evolution. I just mean the whole density of the planet is a little bit lighter, it's a little bit faster, the vibration is a little bit different. Even the water in the ocean feels different there. So that's why you may recognize a Pleiadian starseed by their energy, by their vibration that is like emanating as a very bright light and strong field <laughs> that's what that's what how I can describe it okay so I hope that makes sense um, when I've gone to the Pleiades for other clients I saw that they did have dynasties there there were kingdoms there were kings they had dynasties they had hierarchies and the Pleiadians love castles on different occasions I've saw I've seen castles in high places when I lived in the forest, there was a cliff, the edge of a cliff, there was a beautiful castle. And there's Leo coming, my little cat. <laughs> there was a beautiful castle on top of the cliff with wide views, with big terraces. So the Pleiadians love the sunshine, they love the light, they love the freedom, they, they love the views. And they love their courts and castles and kings that's what I got to a few times maybe because of the dramatic tendencies and the Palladians loved oh look at that's Leo Leo he was just there here he is again oh yes Leo you're covering the microphone hmm? <laughs> okay there you go little visitor and the Palladians <coughs> loved their dresses their extravagant dresses with bright colors or maybe mimicking leaves of the forest so it's interesting to see that the Pleiades are very closely related to planet Earth and there's a few star systems where you know the people look very much like um, humans and the energy body and everything about them fit very well together um, with the humans. And that's why Pleiadians feel very secure and comfortable in their bodies. They feel good in their bodies. They choose bodies where they can, you know, run fast and move fast and are not held back too much. Now, the Pleiadians have been through difficult times in their past our past there have been wars there have been negative times where we have had negative polarity happening in the Pleiades there have been times of that I feel a lot of that is over by now I feel that by now the Pleiadians have regulated their home worlds and there are many Pleiadians that are active in galactic councils to help Earth ascend to help us move into the fifth dimension and that's why a lot of people channel the Pleiadians because there are a lot of Pleiadians that are around us 
that are helping Mother Earth and that are bringing through messages to help us. And a lot of us Pleiadian starseeds on this planet incarnated now have been called, have felt the calling to really help raise the vibration, to help get this planet into a better space, to help with the ascension into the fifth dimension. So you will see a lot of Pleiadians in leadership positions on YouTube. There are ones that are, of course, of negative orientation who do a lot of damage, but most of the Pleiadians incarnated today are of positive orientation and are really, really trying to change the consciousness and help the planet ascend. Thank you so much. Ciao for now.